Okay, so an important part of any Android handset is the uh, ability to download new apps via the Android Market. Um, of course, we've got the latest version of the Market on here, um, and you can sort the applications that you can download by apps, oops, by apps, games, and also HTC Recommends. Uh, you can see just across here. So if we hit the HTC Recommends, you can see it's basically just a bunch of apps that HTC think will be good on the uh, Sensation. Interestingly, though, they're all paid for apps. There don't appear to be any free ones here, which is a shame. Um, also, we can uh, view the market in landscape mode, which is uh, nice to be able to do that, much like we did on the flyer that we reviewed recently. Uh, and you can still scroll everything even in this mode as well, which is quite neat. Click it back up to landscape, and let's just quickly download an application. Angry Birds. Gotta love Angry Birds. And there we go. Everything will be downloaded, and you can see at the top here we get a download status bar, which will show us uh, as it downloads. Okay, so as you can see now at the top of the screen, we've got this little um, sort of arrow in a sort of shopping basket, little tick, sorry, in a shopping basket, and that just tells us that Angry Birds is successfully downloaded and installed. So we can just tap that, and that'll take us straight through to the Angry Birds application, and let's play the game. Um, looks really nice on this large, high-resolution screen. Um, obviously, you've got the built-in loudspeaker as well, so you get nice sound. Um, and it runs really smoothly as you'd expect on a 1.2 GHz dual core device. Uh, whilst we were in the notifications thing at the top here, the notifications bar, sorry, um, you can see we've got all the recently used apps as well, which we can scroll through up here just to quickly pick one if you want to go back to it. Um, we can also go to quick settings, a little tab at the bottom here, and that allows us to toggle the Wi Fi and the Bluetooth on and off, for example, uh, and also turn on the Wi Fi hotspot, which is quite good. Um, a really neat thing about this handset that I've not seen on an Android handset before is a task manager preloaded. So no need to download one from the store on the uh, Sensation because we've already got one on here. And you can either kill all the apps by hitting at the bottom here, or you can just tap the X button there to uh, kill individual apps if we only have one open then. Um, it's nice to see that preloaded on an Android handset for once. Um, just show you quickly the music player as well. Uh, if I just find it here, oh, there it is, right under my thumb. This is a pretty neat player. I mean, it's uh, the same that we've seen before from HTC, so we get the nice large album art on the display and the controls at the bottom here. And you can obviously, whilst it's playing, flick back and see what other music you want to listen to. And uh, you can search through. Oops, seems held it obviously a bit too long. You can search by artist, you can search by album, playlist, song, genre, composer, and also purchase music. So that's pretty neat that you can just switch down the bottom here and go, for example, go look through the albums. So that's quite good. Uh, if we just pause it for a moment, um, we can see at the top we've got controls for shuffle and repeat, and also the uh, sound enhancer here, so we get SRS sound enhancement, or if we've got headphones plugged in, we can use the equalizer and choose from a range of different presets, like pop and rock, for example. Um, if I press play again, and then I just lock the display, you can see as well, when we unlock it on the uh, lock screen here, um, we get a player controller, so it shows us some details. Uh, about the song we're playing, and we can pause and skip and see the album art as well, all directly from the lock screen. So you can, without unlocking the device, you can just turn the screen on and you know select a new track. So it's a pretty nice uh, widget interface. Um, but that's not all that's nice about the uh, new lock screen. If I go back to the uh, customization menu here, there's a new option for the lock screen customization. You can see we've got uh, a few different options that we can use on the lock screen. So the first one here is photos, which will show all of the photos from our photo album on there. So if we just pop back, uh, and it should load up. Just because we've changed the lock screen, it loads. Usually it's instant as soon as the screen comes on. Uh, and you can see it will just show us various photos in our photo album, which is pretty neat. If we unlock as well, I'll just go and change again to uh, the next one. It's probably my favourite, the friend stream uh, lock screen. You can see it basically just shows all the recent tweets and Facebook updates that have come in on any account set up on the device. And then you've got these little ones in the background as well uh, going across the screen. The nice thing is even with the phone locked you can oops, just pop back off. You can actually switch between and view different updates just by scrolling across the screen back and forth. So it's quite usable still, even though it's just a lock screen um, widget basically. Um, just go for one last one and show you the weather one quickly. Again, quickly applied to it. 
it didn't take long to change and that one didn't load up at all you see that one's quite quick it shows you the current weather in the area I'm not sure if there's any no there's no other options in that one you can't scroll or anything it just shows the weather for the area that you're currently in uh, another neat thing is as you unlock you can see I uh, didn't do it at that time because I was in the screen as you unlock you can see the carousel just moves in quite quickly despite the fact that we've got these uh, new lock screen um, animations going on at the same time Right, so with an 8 megapixel camera, um, you'd hope that the HTC took pretty decent pictures. You can see we've got some phones on the floor behind the camera there. Um, and it's a pretty simple affair. It, it automatically, as you move the camera around, it automatically refocus. Or if you want to focus on something specific, you can actually touch the screen. And it makes that sound and focuses on what you want. And then press the shutter button, it'll take the image. Um, once you've taken the image, you can share the usual, sort of with via Facebook or Bluetooth, via email, or Twitter, or even Picasa. So there's quite a few different options to share your photos and videos once you've taken them. Um, I think also with videos you can share to YouTube, so we just do a quick video here. Um, I'm not sure what setting this is on, I don't think it's the full 1080p, but we can switch in a minute. Uh, and from here, yeah, you can share a video to YouTube, which is pretty neat. Now I'm just going to the options here then, um, and you can see yeah, that's quarter HD video at that time. Um, but it can also do t uh, 720 and 1080 resolution, which is quite nice. So the 1080 videos have come out pretty decent, uh, and there will be one at the end of the review um, as a sample. Um, get all the usual settings as well, so you can um, you know, stereo recording, different things. And if we go back to the regular camera, you can see we can change ISO, white balance, uh, we can add scenes or use a self-timer. Uh, there's also geotagging and things like that as well. Uh, and also I believe there were some other settings, so you have your exposure, contrast, saturation and sharpness all in there as well from a nice sort of pop out menu. Uh, also, as with all the latest HC devices, you can see we've got the forward facing camera which can be used for portraits. So you can see my ugly mug and the camera. Um, so it's a pretty decent camera, I mean for, to be honest it's probably the best HTC camera I've used. Um, the shots come out pretty nice, again there will be some samples in the written review on the website uh, and you can check those out for yourself and see if you like them. Ok so I'm just going to quickly show you the remaining apps on the device. Um, obviously HC keep loading up new different um, applications to each device to give it more functionality. First here we've got this dock mode uh, which basically shows sort of this weather background with the time and uh, the temperature and stuff and also gives you the most recent friend stream update. Uh, you can also flick across the photo frame and connect to media from here or open the calendar. Uh, and then there's this little button at the bottom here which significantly dims the screen as you can see. You can still see the clock and that there and also the weather is still in the background. It's just hard to see because uh, it's quite a bright environment here. I mean you can kind of see more if I shadow it even. Um, basically just for using the handset at night, um, a sort of a bedside clock I suppose. Um, and you can even set it up to sort of go into Wi-Fi hotspot mode when it's put into a dock. Just tap the X button here and it takes us straight back out. Uh, I've also got this dice app. I guess if maybe you've got a board game and you've lost the dice, uh, you can use this sort of roll new dice um, and you can get rid of them if you need less or you can add them if you want more dice than what uh, are already there. Um, otherwise we've got, let's have a look, we've got the flashlight that we saw before. Um, we've got the Google Maps navigation. So you can just go into maps or you can open navigation separately from here. Uh, to do turn by turn navigation for driving. There's also the mirror app, again if you want to see yourself. Um, we've also got Polaris Office which is like a Word, uh, Excel and um, PowerPoint viewer. Um, I think maybe there's an ability to sort of upgrade it to the full version so you can create new documents but I think that's a paid subscription. Also got Soundhound here so for example we can search for music, let's go for Rihanna something quite popular and then from here we can listen to the song or we can buy it from Amazon's mp3 store or search for YouTube videos so that's quite nice and again with this one you don't have to search by name you can actually just tap the button there to actually make, let the device listen to some music uh, and it will sort of listen to a clip maybe sort of a 10-20 second clip and it will tell you what the song is so that you can buy it or find information out about it. Um, the task manager that we mentioned earlier, the teacher game, uh, we've got Google Talk as well uh, and a YouTube player built in, so the usual uh, suite of HTC apps that you would expect to find. Uh, another new one is the HTC Watch uh, application, and basically this allows you to find new uh, music, so if I just quickly add my password in. Okay, so now I've put my password into the HTC Watch application, we can 
go and find some videos. So down the bottom here we've got video store currently downloading all videos and downloaded videos. Uh, so if we go back to the store you can see it's quite a nice layout. You can scroll across the top here to see the recommended videos and there's featured videos and you can browse by movies or TV items. And generally the prices of uh, for example um, TV shows, if we go down here, they start around about £1.49 I think. Let's just have a look. You can see there, yeah, there we go, £1.49 in the UK per episode. And that allows you to, that's actually buying the episode. Um, in terms of movies, for example here, uh, you can rent this movie from 3 49 which tends to be the cheapest that I've seen. Um, or you can buy it from 9 99 uh, and I think movies are also available from 7 99 So, um, a decent selection of movies. Um, some movies though, as you can see with Iron Man, oops, just tapped on one there. From Iron Man 2, you can actually only buy Iron Man 2, you can't rent it. Um, but nevertheless, it's still good to be able to uh, do that on the device. Uh, and you can only download the movies via Wi-Fi as well. So um, if you've not got a Wi-Fi connection, you won't be able to get new movies, only watch the ones that you've already downloaded. Um, you can, however, watch trailers over 3G uh, for movies. You just can't buy them. So here's a quick trailer. You can see on the large 4.3 inch QHD display, as with the games, the uh, movies do look pretty nice. Again, this screen is um, turned down to make it easier for the camera to see, um, but it still looks pretty good. And from here you can play and pause, uh, you can put on the SRS sound enhancement as well, which seems to do quite a good job with the uh, movies. And you can also flip backwards and forwards through the video. So that's all going on a 50 meg connection, so obviously it does look, download pretty quickly. Um, but I mean the, the performance over the network connection is also pretty good. Right, so lastly I'm just going to show you the uh, keyboard input, so you can see what it's like to write a message on the sensation. And um, with the 4.3 inch display obviously it makes the keyboard quite large. Um, it's also available even larger in landscape mode as you can see there. And just flipping the device around will automatically change the orientation of the screen and the keyboard. Uh, another thing which I've just noticed that HTC have started loading on is uh, this trace keyboard. You can see here in the options. So for example if you just drag our, and it doesn't seem to do it in the uh, actual person selection, but when you're actually typing a message um, oops. you can actually just drag your finger across the display and it will do the T9 trace much like swipe input on say the Samsung devices uh, I'm not sure how it compares to swipe because I don't generally tend to use it myself I just do the normal tap input but it works quite well you can see there we've got hello so um, and also with it turned on you can still use the normal text input by just tapping away like that. So uh, it's nice to have that extra on there should that be your preference um, and that's preloaded on the Sensation. Um, so that's basically it from the Sensation. Uh, pretty nice handset. I forgot to show you earlier as well at the top here we've got the 3.5mm headphone port uh, and the on off switch that you've been using to uh, wake and sleep the screen. Uh, so you can use any normal headphones with the uh, Sensation although ours didn't come packaged with any HCC ones so I'm not sure if they've stopped packaging those or if they just weren't given to us uh, with our version um, but you may need your own version of head, you know, set of headphones to use with the Sensation um, but overall it's a really nice device I mean if uh, I was looking for a device right now I think it would be between this and the Galaxy S2 for me um, but that was a quick look at the HCC Sensation I'm Russ Jeffries from Melbourne.com.